so I literally have no idea how I'm going to do this. I currently have my camera tucked into the t-shirt of my bear, and I'm using my good arm to hold the microphone because there is nowhere to position it, and it's either that or use the rubbish inbuilt microphone, which I don't like using. So, we're going to give this a go anyway. Um, I have my lamp on, so we've got a bit of light, and hopefully you can see the images contained in this wonderful magazine, which is called High Fructose. Uh, hopefully you can see the, all the images contained quite clearly. This, for those who didn't see the unboxing video that I did a little while back, was sent to me in my ASMR unboxing exchange gift package um, by the lovely River Whisper, aka You Are A River, aka Poops, aka Tuppence Tyler. Tuppence Tyler Pumpernickel. <laughs> um, if you haven't checked out her channel, I will put a link down below, and uh, you should go do that. But in the meantime, let's be fancy, let's twirl our moustaches, adjust our top hats, and um, let's look at some rather awesome artwork, courtesy of this wonderful magazine, which if you're wondering, you can buy online. Um, as far as I know, you can't get subscriptions, but you can buy single issues. So, I'm gonna have a bit of trouble with this spine, I can tell. is with all magazines these days we're gonna get a number of ads but I gotta admit even the ads it looked pretty good because I have the camera tucked into a bear's t-shirt the bear's head is actually in the way of viewing so I'm having to look at what's in the magazine via my computer screen so Um, straight away, I'm liking that. I'm liking the pink and purple shay action we've got going on there. Because I can't quite see completely, because my vision isn't fantastic at the moment. Um, I won't be able to tell you, I don't think, who the artist uh, but if you give me a specific time reference or a specific image reference I can go and find out for you if you are intrigued um, those right away look amazing I think that might be for another ad I don't know but either way those are awesome those are like Los Mortes skulls I think that's how you say it, Day of the Dead but that's awesome I've got some of those staying on my wall. I'm probably going to be really impressed by everything because I've had a little sneak peek. And, um, there's so much good stuff in here. I'm sure there's going to be some weird stuff in here as well, but <laughs> weird is good. Weird is always.
some quote from her there as well. I realised I really needed to do what I loved, even if it wasn't practical. That's it. Sometimes you've just got to kind of go with your heart. something I would usually kind of go in for, but I'm kind of digging it. Oh, that's cool. Sort of multicolored, almost tie-dye like fabric collage skeleton. Pretty cool. recognize the name Mark Ryden the name of the artist there but I do recognize the style of these images um, and I can't remember who showed me these or this style that I'm thinking of it might not even be the same artist but mannerism and the sort of shape of the faces seems very familiar it's almost a gothic Tim Burton quality to these which is something that I don't usually buy into I'm not a Tim Burton fan which I know a lot of people are
stands out against the background yet at the same time it kind of really blends in nicely with it kind of looks a little bit like the Death Star
and that's really not the kind of style I would go for, but there's something really quite attractive to the eye about that. I don't know what it is. Perhaps, again, the sort of more angular shapes, sort of creases in the face, and it looks really textured. Especially like in the background, and in like the facial colouring. That's the wonderful thing about sharing art with people, um, whether it be with friends or whether it be with a magazine, that is sharing it with me like it is right now and sharing it with you, is that it opens up different avenues you didn't know existed or perhaps wouldn't have thought to pursue yourself, because there's a number of styles and colourings and things that usually I wouldn't gravitate towards, but I've been showing them in a different light. That's really quite weird. Yeah, that was really, really cool. It's a little bit jarring though, because it does feel hyper real. Kind of the uncanny valley effect going on, but still. That a lot. And that's pretty much it, except for those weird little critters. But you know, what better way to end an art magazine than weird little critters? Anyway, I hope you've enjoyed it. I've just casually flicked through. Um, Yeah, it's been a long time coming, but I've finally gone through it. I will maybe even have a better look in more detail myself and pull out some personal favourites. Or perhaps if I get the next instalment, or prior, prior, prior instalments even, um, go through them. But yeah, hopefully you've enjoyed that on either a sleepy level or an arty level. Um, either way, uh, thank you for watching my lovely little critters.